How you doing? My name is Manuel Benecourt. I work with Kana. I've been with Kana for nine years now. Um, I want to introduce the fire panel that was installed here at Avalon 5000 and 6000. What you have here is a solid light. That's an IFP 2000. It's a very smart panel. It's capable of holding 150 detectors, 150 modules. I'm going to show you the basics of this panel. Um, what you have, alarm LED, supervisory LED, a trouble LED, silence LED, and power LED. Um, this power LED should always be on. Uh, no matter what happens, uh, you have two batteries. If there was ever to uh, power to go out in the building, you have two batteries that will, that will support this panel. Um, you have a breaker. Uh, which powers this. Um, basically need to always remember whenever there's an alarm that comes in you'll have an alarm LED. Whenever the alarm LED comes on the first thing you want to do is verify where it's coming from. After you verify where it's coming from you know the location go out in the field before you hit silence or reset. Go out in the field verify it whether if, if it's a uh, if it's a mistake or a kid was playing or some dust, just come here, press silence. That will silence the, the beeping on the panel. That will silence all the horn strobes, horn strobes throughout the building. Um, and then hit reset, and that will clear the trouble. If the trouble comes back, hit silence, call your, call your technician. Um, then you have your supervisor. Uh, your supervisor, amber light will come on, and it will be a steady beep, steady beep. Um, same thing, just hit silence, you can verify to see where it's coming from. The only thing that is monitoring the supervisory is the duct detectors and the tampers and, uh, and a couple of relays. That is it. Um, so you want to verify those locations wherever the panel is indicating that it is. You want to go see what's going on, you can hit silence, it will silence the panel. But you want to call your technician to come out and, and look at it. Um, Trouble. What causes a trouble is uh, when, a, when a device is disconnected, um, power. When there's a power outage on the panel, it'll, it'll show you AC power failure. But it will still work because of your batteries. Uh, whenever your dialer, when it's not sending out signals and something happens and the signal gets interrupted, it'll give you a signal trouble. So those, those things you want to look out for. Uh, if there's, a, if there's a trouble on one of the duct detectors, it'll also tell you this. If one of the duct detectors uh, gets opened or, or the head comes off or it ain't seeing that particular device, it'll come in as a trouble, give you a trouble description, it'll tell you the location, and you want to go verify. Once you, once you figure out what it is and you call your technician, press silence, reset, and the panel should be normal again. Your alarm signals, the only things that can cause alarm is a pull station, a uh, small detector, which the only locations that where you have small detectors here, are in the elevator elevator lobbies, first floor, second floor, the the shaft. Um, you want you have one here in the in the electric room, above the panel. You have one on the other side. Uh, you have uh, kind of grill. You have the, the kitchen hood system. If they were to pull the the kitchen hood trigger the pull, um, that would trigger the alarm. Um, same thing with uh, building 6000. Um, you have the only restaurant there is Ted's. So anything that goes off in Ted's will trigger the, the alarm there also. And the same thing goes with 6000. You have one in the lobby, first floor, small detector in the lobby, small detector in the second floor lobby. And, um, and those are in the pool stations in every exit. Um, here, if you have an alarm, let's say, uh, a pull station got activated and right after that pull station got activated there was a smoke that came in um, and the LED is red you can go up and down scroll through the troubles and that'll tell you what, what there is as you see now there ain't nothing happening so it'll tell you no alarm event so if there was an alarm it'll tell you pull station front entrance exit door or and if there was a small uh, smoke or say smoke above power supply or smoke uh, elevator lobby, first floor. It, it gives a good description of where everything's at. 
Um, same thing with supervisor. You can scroll through them. It'll tell you no event. If you do have a supervisor, it'll it'll show you all the ones that are going in supervisor. It'll tell you tamper flow, riser room, whatever number it is on the first floor. You can go verify it. Or the duct detectors. It'll tell you RTU one, RTU two, and you can go also verify it. Um, on the duct detectors, you want to reset them before you reset the, the panel. If not, they will not reset. So you want to reset it here, and it'll go back to normal. Trouble, same thing. You have a trouble, um, it'll, it'll give you a description where it's at, what device it is, and as soon as your technician fixes it um, and resets the panel, he'll, he'll make sure the panel's clear, and then you can also verify it and make sure it's clear. Um, just hit reset, and there's nothing to it. Um, so this is your main fire alarm panel. Uh, what you have there is your dialer that, the, that is monitoring the fire panel. Um, that dialer is wireless and, um, and it's, it has two, two signals, a uh, primary phone and the secondary phone. So if one of the phone fails, you have the secondary to call out. And it also has a backup, backup batteries. So, and if there was to lose power, immediately the monitoring station also receives those signals. That's, they'll know to send somebody out or to let the, whoever they have as a contact, um, they'll contact them and let them know what's happening. And then you have your document box right here where all the documents are over this panel and over the dollar. Um, you also have monitoring. Um, whenever you wanna, whenever you wanna put the system on test, um, before you do any kind of work to it, when you arrive here on site, or if uh, maintenance or, or whoever needs to work on a fire panel that's authorized to do it, they need to go check in with security, tell them what they're going to do, give them their ID, um, explain to them that they need the system on test so it will not dial out and call, call any fire trucks out. Um, they also have keys there. The, the security office has keys. They have keys to the to the duct detector test switches, they have keys to the pull stations, and they have keys to the main fire panel and the power supplies. The power supplies are located on the first floor. Um, riser room, same thing. Uh, as far as I know, you need a key to get in the riser room. So you will have to check in with them and uh, to get a key. And if you were to work on a sprinkler system, this, the fire system needs to be on test, no matter what. It needs to be on test. Because if something was to happen, it will dis call the monitoring station and they will dispatch. Um, so if y'all want, we can go downstairs and I can show y'all the, the annunciator. Okay. Was that good?